Here is a presentation on the Jussive and Hortatory subjunctives that you need to know for your week of independent study. A little bit of background information. In Latin, in order to give um, orders, you use the imperative mood. Uh, for example, in the, the laudate dominum example, which means praise the Lord, here you are giving an order to um, a group of people to praise the Lord in the imperative mood in the second person of the, sing of the plural, laudate, that T-E right here shows you that it is um, for the plural, second person plural. Uh, move celeriter, which means move quickly. Here you are given an order to one person, move, M-O-V-E, that E ending is not move T, it's giving an order in the second person singular. And that's what you can do with the imperative in Latin. You can give an order to the second person singular, to you, singular, or give a pers an order to a group of people, and that's the use of the second person plural, you, you all, you guys, you people. Now, uh, the subjunctive, so far we have seen the subjunctive uh, used in subordinate clauses, in dependent clauses, like the result clause, or purpose clauses, or circumstantial clauses, or causal clauses, and so on and so forth. Uh, for example, tam uh, tristis erat ut lacrimaret. You see the main verb is erat. The subordinate verb is lacrimaret. Lacrimaret here is our subjunctive, subordinate verb, in the subordinate clause, in that result clause. He is so sad that he is crying. All right, so that's how we have seen the subjunctive. Now, surprise, surprise, the subjunctive is going to be used sometimes as the main verb. And in Latin, it is, it is possible to give orders to the third person. For example, he, she, it, or they. And for this, you're going to use the subjunctive. And in this case, the subjunctive will be known as a jussive subjunctive. The word jussive is a very fancy word in English. It comes from the word jubeo in Latin. That means to order. So it's the subjunctive used to give, give order. Um, to do that, what you do, you use the subjunctive present, and there, as a main verb, it will be uh, your main verb to give an order. It translates into let him, let her, let it, or let them. When the Beatles are saying let it be, they use the justive subjunctive, the third person singular, neuter. The negative of this uh, would be uh, used with ne, ne plus the subjunctive present afterwards. The a uh, hortatory subjunctive does the exact same thing, it just has a different name when the order pertains to the first person plural, we. Oui. The present subjunctive is also used for that. And since we are dealing here with an order to us, the translation of it is, goes really well with let us. The negative with, of that would be uh, also starting with ne, ne plus subjunctive present. An example of when the Romans would say, let's go, they would just simply use uh, the verb ire in the present subjunctive, first person singular, uh, first person plural, eamus, let's go. And uh, that's it for um, this presentation on the jussive and hortatory subjunctive. Nothing um, really complicated, but something uh, of somewhat uh, big consequences, <clears throat> because it's the first time that we see the subjunctive used as a main verb this time to give an order, just like the imperative mood used to do.